Happy New Year. Good morning. Long time no see. If you're new here, I'm Sonia. I'm a third year PhD student studying math and I like to make vlogs. So I took a little break after Christmas and now I'm back. So today it's Monday, January 24th and it's already like 10.50, 10.52 p.m. I have a meeting at 11, which I actually forgot about. So I have to make this quick. Maybe I'll talk more afterwards, but I, I usually, if you followed me before, I used to like to wake up a bit earlier, but I just switched my schedule the last week to like stay up till like two or three <laughs> and then sleep in just because the Australian Open is on right now and I want to pay attention to it, but I'm in Canada, so everything's like on overnight. So I've just been studying at night while like having tennis in the background. And it is Monday, but yesterday I worked a lot because I have a meeting today and I was trying to figure out something, which I think I did. I don't have a proof of it yet, but I have a sketch of a proof, which I'll show my uh, advisors today, so hopefully they'll be happy about that. If you've been following, I've been working with some module and all we knew so far is that, that it's finite dimensional and we know uh, the case when it's irreducible. But when it's reducible, we were working on what it looks like then, and now I have figured out what's the direct sum decomposition of it. Yeah, so I'll I'll check back with you soon. My seminar is gonna start in five minutes. It's the um, hyperplane arrangement seminar from last term. It's actually a busy day in terms of Zoom, so I have this 11 to like 12:30 ish. Then I have my meeting that goes usually till 1 to 2.30 and then there's another <laughs> algebra and geometry seminar at like 4.30 to 5.30. It's a lot of Zoom. Um, eventually I wear these glasses because my eyes start to hurt from the computer. Okay, so I'll check in with you guys later. Still not fully awake, but I'll try to pay attention to my seminar. and the host hasn't started the meeting yet so I don't know if they forgot or <laughs> what's happening but we'll see so it seems like there were technical issues with this link because no one was in the meeting um, but I think it's resolved now so let's see which I'm okay with because it get, gave me some more time to work on what I want to do since I wanted to show them like what I finished basically before going to sleep last night. Now I have a little bit more time to organize my thoughts and even see if I can clarify this and make the sketch of the proof a real proof. So we'll just have a meeting sometime later this week and that means I have a few hours clear until the next seminar I have to go to. So I think I'll just slowly work on my stuff. Yeah, just work on my stuff, go to the seminar and then take a few hours break and then work again at like 9 or 10 <laughs> while watching the Australian Open quarterfinals. I've been working on my problem for a while and I think I need a break so like my brain works on it without me doing too much so I'm gonna go on a run I I was put I want to do three runs this week between Monday and Friday so I'm just trying to pick the days on which it's the least cold like 
Free have Wednesday, it's supposed to be like minus 20 or something, so I'm definitely not going on that day. And today it's minus 6, so that's okay. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. It's sometimes nice after a day of thinking to go outside and relax. And I got these shoes specifically for running in the snow because they have these like little um, metal stuff. snowing the whole run and my face is frozen although to be clear like my body's warm is just my face because the snow kept hitting it Good morning everyone, it's the next day. I'm just here finishing up my coffee and then I'll get started on doing work. It's around 10.30. I woke up late again because I stayed up to watch the quarterfinal of Nadal and Shapovalov and I really thought Shapovalov would win after the fourth set and he didn't so I was kind of sad about that. Um, but he did pretty good still. Uh, if you don't know, he's uh, a Canadian player. There, there were two in the quarterfinal, which is not bad for Canada. Um, but now I think I'll just continue working on my problem until 12 and then just have lunch with my parents. And then I have a class at 1 on combinatorial hop algebras, which is through the Fields Institute. It's like actually a class at York University, but uh, one of the things that emerged as a result of COVID and having to do everything online is that the Fields Institute facilitating facilitated taking classes at different Ontario universities, which is like really cool. Like otherwise, like my school doesn't offer a class on this, so I wouldn't be able to take it. They're called the Fields Academy Graduate Courses. I don't know, like past things they had were symplectic geometry, massive C star algebras, quantum computing, Markov chains, optimal transport geometry and dynamics, uh, like lots of really niche topics, which sometimes it's nice to actually like take a course on it rather than just read about it in a book. That's how we pass from permutation to Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. It's been, I think, like a week since I last saw you. I've been really bad at vlogging the last little while, I think just because I'm not doing anything interesting. I fully spend most of my day in this room. But right now it's 9.30 a.m. and I have Zoom meetings from 11.30 until 2 p.m. So that's a lot for me. I think I'll work on my research until 11 and then have like a little break because at 11.30 I'm running a tutorial for differential equations so I have to be focused for that and then I have a class where 
I also want to be able to pay attention, which is a little hard <laughs> doing right after my tutorial. But on an update, I, um, I wanted to show, or I wanted to see if my module is semi-simple, which means that it's a direct sum of simple modules or irreducible modules. And I thought I found it, but now I don't think it works. And now I'm confused again, so I'm just gonna think about that. And my advisor said it probably has something to do with the Clifford algebra, which I don't know that much about. So I've been trying to read up on that in the last few days. And that was the sum of the E K. So that two or like almost three hours of Zoom was pretty brutal. <laughs> and now I just don't want to use my brain anymore for a little bit. So I already had my plan that I wanted to go for a run and to the gym at some point today. So I just thought I'll do that now. And then I can do my research after. We had an ice storm last night and my car door was like fully frozen. I couldn't open it. So I had to like dump some hot water on it just to get inside my car and like turn it on to warm it up. But now it's fine. <laughs> 